In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of a bathroom interior design in Revit and Enscape. So first we'll model the bathroom in Revit, then move to the Enscape and create materials and do the rendering. Let's get started. Here first we will create a 12 feet by 12 feet room. Then I'm going to create a 2 inch wall here to create uh, some kind of extrusion on this wall and I'm going to split this because we want to create some space in the middle to add 3D wall panels or tiles. Perfect. Now we'll create a 2 feet wall to separate the wash basin and bathtub area. Now let's create the slats on this wall and for that I will use a curtain wall. Let's put one and a half inch spacing for the vertical grid since we want to use uh, an inch thick slat and we will have half an inch space between each slat. And here we need to select one inch square mullion. We don't need any horizontal mullions, so I'm going to remove them. And uh, we also need to remove the curtain panel as well. Now we can go ahead and create the floor and as you can see I left a 5 feet space at the corner. The reason for that is uh, we are going to create pebbles here and for that we will create a new floor type. Perfect, so we got the floors ready here. And we can now move on to the ceiling part. So our ceiling is also ready. Let's add the main components for now. We will add uh, the decorative components later on once we apply the materials and set up the camera view. For the components I will be using the blocks plugin. If you don't have any idea about this plugin, well I suggest you check out the video link in the description. I did a video about installing uh, this plugin recently on my channel. Here I'm just loading door and window families. Then I will place a glass partition for which I just loaded a glass door family. I removed mirror from this family because I thought about using a separate mirror family here.
here I'm just changing the wall heights I just reduce them a little bit since this is a half tile bathroom I'm creating uh, a 3 feet wall around it later on we will add 3d tiles to these walls as well Here I'm creating some kind of design for the shower area. Now let's create a wall niche. For that I will be using this uh, wall niche family which you can get from my Patreon as well. Once we are done adding it, we can start adding the 3D panels or 3D tiles from this plugin. The best part about these families is that I can cut them from all sides which helps to place them perfectly aligned to the floor and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just checking how much I need to cut them from the base and I will just put that in the base cut parameter here. Let's repeat that here as well. Now I will quickly add the 3D panels to the other walls as well. So we are done adding these panels to the other walls and we can now move on to the materials part. Since I want to use Enscape materials and the Enscape material editor, I will have to create generic materials in Revit first because the Enscape material editor supports generic Revit materials only and that's what I'm doing here. I create all the necessary materials and then apply them to the objects in the scene. Once we are done with that we can go ahead and start the Enscape to create the camera view. So the Enscape has now started. First I'm going to reset the settings so we can start from scratch. Before creating a new camera view, make sure you don't have any hidden objects in your 3D view. Otherwise, you will have them hidden in the new camera views you create. I will quickly copy this float at 10 feet to create the roof here. Before creating the camera view, I will turn on the safe frame here. To be able to see which part of this scene will be rendered. Let's use a custom output size for this specific view. It's looking weird but we can fix this using the field of view slider here. Perfect. Once we are happy with the camera placement, we can go ahead and create a preset for this camera view. Now I will quickly create a camera view here.
now let's work on the materials for that we we'll first need to assign the materials to the objects that we created earlier Once we have done that, we can go ahead and use the Enscape Material Editor to create uh, realistic materials. After that, we will add the components to the scene and uh, I will fast forward this part to save your time. Check the timestamps mentioned in the description to skip this part.
so i have finished adding the components to the scene now we are at the final part of this video which is about inkscape render settings so let's do that here i'm going to add some outlines and reduce the exposure in the image section we will reduce the highlights shadows saturation and the color temperature to make this scene a little warmer here let's remove all the effects except bloom in the atmosphere i'm going to increase the sun brightness a little bit to get sunlight from the window on the left and play around with the artificial light brightness and ambient brightness until we get the desired results here i'm just removing all cloud effects it's not going to affect that much since it is an interior scene now i think we are ready to export this scene i will set the render quality to ultra and set jpeg as the file format and press the shortcut key Control plus one that I set to export the image. The rendering is now exported. Let's render the other view as well. Instead of spending time on render settings, I'm going to duplicate the previous one and just change the output size and the field of view to better match this scene and play around with the other settings as well until i get the desired results and let's export this image so that's how you create an interior scene in revit and inkscape make sure to check out my patreon to download this project file along with more than 60 revit project files so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new make sure to check out my inkscape tutorials playlist on my channel i have over 50 tutorial videos on inkscape for revit so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one